hi guys it's a girl osla welcome back to my channel if you're just joining us for the first time you're highly welcome please make sure you subscribe okay so we're making our oha soup i want to show you guys the full recipe so let's go there so this is our goat meat This is our omo. I soaked it in hot water to make it soft and remove every form of sand. Then we have our cocoa yam and stockfish. Then this is our dry fish and smoked fish. This is our ora or oha leaf. What do you guys call it from the part you come from? We have our crayfish, our Cameroon pepper, our fresh pepper, Ogiri Ibo, and no cubes. Then this is my banga paste. I got it from Banga Republic on Instagram. I told you guys I prefer to use banga paste and palm oil when I'm making my Nigerian soup. This is our salt to taste. So the first thing we'll be doing is to boil the cocoa yam for about an hour. While that is being done, we'll spice up the meat with our no cube salt, Cameroon pepper, and then allow it to boil. Yeah, you allow it to boil for 20 minutes. So I soaked the dry fish and the stock fish in hot water just for a few minutes to soften it. So now we're going to be pounding the crayfish and the pepper. In my last video, where I showed you guys how to prepare bitter leaf soup, I used a blender. So this time around, I'm going to be using a mortar and pestle. So you just pound it right. Um, I don't want it to be so smooth. Normally, I like it rough. So I think this is okay, not properly pounded. This is how I like it. So now I'm checking on our meat to see if it's soft enough. And I think it's okay. So now we can start adding the omo. So we'll check to see if there's enough water I think I need to add some water. Yeah, so I, I added a cup of water. This way you don't even need to add extra water. So we'll check to see if the cocoa yam is soft enough for pounding. Yeah, that's how to check. Okay, it was already soft and was so hot. So now it's time to pound it. You have to pound it very 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 well so that it's going to be very smooth so that it doesn't leave all those um, little little lumps in the soup so you pound it and then you set it aside now we're going to be adding the washed stockfish and dry fish to the already boiling goat's meat and omo so they could all boil together then you allow it to boil for five minutes
Now we're going to be taking um, little lumps of the cocoyam paste and put them all around the surface of the pot to allow it to boil properly. So you don't have to add too much cocoyam paste. Yeah, I think this is enough. So now I'm taking my banga paste and then I'm pouring enough to color. If you're using palm oil, you just also add it enough to your taste and to your color. So I think this is enough. Yeah, so now I'm adding my ogiri bowl. This is a local spice. You cannot be preparing or has soup or ra soup without ogiri bowl. Take it or leave it. Then you add the crayfish and pepper mix that was pounded. You allow it to boil till it's thick enough for you. So I said, let me show you guys how to pluck this um, oha leaf from the stem so watch closely to see how I'm picking it and then cutting it I did not use knife look I didn't use knife I used my hands to cut it can you hear the sound can you hear that puto 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 sound <laughs> so now I'm checking if the cocoyam is melted enough if yours is thick enough you could take out the remaining cocoyam but I think mine looks melted now so you check the consistency if it's thick enough if it's too thick you can add some water to it I think this is good there are no lumps in the soup it's time to add our leaf into the soup you don't have to pack too much leaf into the soup you have to allow it to just you know beautify the soup after adding it do not stir okay do not stir the soup just allow it to boil so i missed the process where i added my smoked fish i added it just after allowing the oha to boil for three minutes i added it and then allowed it to boil for two minutes as well then i switched it off i switched off the fire so here look at it look at it i always tell you guys that if it's too thick it's going to be so thick when you allow it to cool down so make sure the consistency is not so thick just allow it to be light enough because once it's cool it will be getting thick and thick and thick and thick yeah, so this soup is ready. Where is your plate? Where is your plate? Bring your bowl plates and come and have some. Wow, this is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my full recipe on how to prepare this soup. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching. Love you.